Welcome back to some more Iron Man! A brand new update just got released that adds new pets, ways to level pets, handful of new items, and that's right, Taming 60. Today, we'll go through all the stuff they added, check everything out, and see what upgrades we can make to our profile. Real quick, uh, YouTube's killing Skyblock channels again, so if you could hit the like button and the subscribe button on this video specifically, it'd really help boost me in the algorithm. I'm trying to upload every other day in December, so if you want more Skyblock Iron Man content, be sure you're subscribed. Anyways, let's get into the update! So if we make our way in the hub over to the cat house here, they actually did a little bit of a remodel here and there's some new NPCs. So of course we have B, which just sells bees. This was here before. And these are two brand new NPCs. We have uh, Fan or Fawn. I'm not too sure how they want us to pronounce that. Uh, I'll be calling you Fawn, I guess, for now, because that sounds more proper. And Booty. Booty is an owl. Is that all he does? I think you just, yeah, you just can pet the owl, I guess. So that's pretty cool. But if we talk to a fawn here, she says, hey there, adventurer. Meet my lovable owl, Booty. We offer a special service here. For a small fee, we'll train your pets and help them while you're off doing heroic things. Booty approves, trust me. So, interested in leaving your pet with us for a bit? Uh, then we can open up a menu here, and there are three training slots here. And you can place pets in these three slots, and uh, it will upgrade your pet over time uh, level-wise. Not, it's not going to upgrade the rarity. That's still Cat's job, but it looks like for 2.2 mil coins, we can purchase ourselves a level 100 owl. Uh, it's not level 100. I was misled. That is unfortunate. Look at this. It very much- Oh, this is a preview of level 100. New pets are at lowest level. I did not read that. That's my fault. Well, anyways, here's the new- owl pet it has it looks like four different perks or three perks the first one gives you a discount on the training sessions that i'll show you guys in a sec here uh, the second ability gives more xp from training sessions and the third one just passively gives you more taming wisdom which is awesome this is a pet similar to like the uh kudra pet and grandma wolf so these pet abilities apply even if the pet's not equipped which is pretty cool uh so what we can do is we can leave different pets in here and i guess for now i'm just going to leave um what would be a decent pet to leave that I'm not going to be upgrading for a while. I guess the, uh, the epic dolphin. I'm not gonna upgrade this to legendary for a while. So we go ahead and place the dolphin in this first slot here. It is going to be free. Um, and there's a couple different menus here. So it looks like a training duration amount of days. Let's go ahead and train the, uh, pet here for five days. What? I can't do, like, less? Uh, how about until specific level? We can go, I guess, one le- 123 days? Okay, maybe we're not doing that. It also looks like you're actually supposed to leave the owl pet in here, so we'll do that. And there's different types of training you can do, but it looks like it's going to cost coins to do this. So if we wanted to level up to level 99, we can go ahead and check out what is ultra. How much does this cost? 1.7 million. It'll take 13 hours to level up. You know what? I don't think I'll be able to get that done in this video, unfortunately, but what if we want it to get to level 100? It's going to cost 6 million coins in two days. That is is too much work for us. Let's go ahead and try maybe moderate. I'll spend like, okay, maybe light. I'll spend like 1 million coins doing this. Dude, this is 190 days. Okay, something's wrong with this. You know what? Maybe we're not going to use this for now, but apparently if you're willing to shell out a lot of money, you can upgrade your pets decently fast. I'm talking like 25 or 30 days to go from level zero to 100, but honestly, unless these guys lower the price and time, I don't see anyone using that, but that is one of the main features in the update. Now we have George over here, which is just, you know, he's the normal George that we all know and love, and uh, I don't really know what's up here, but it looks like a little bit of a, some decorations that uh, maybe this is the area your pets go and get trained. That would be pretty cool. Oh wait, George is now what you do to level up your taming level. Okay, so it looks like if you bring him different exotic pets and sacrifice them to George, you can level up your taming level. Currently, we are level 50, which is the old maximum level, but we have well more than enough to get taming 60 in terms of XP. So it looks like he wants us to sacrifice, it looks like a epic rift ferret. Okay, starting off kind of insane, but you know what? My rift ferret's only level 28, that takes like a second to level up to, so I guess you can have my rift per per pet. Um, it doesn't have a pet item, so uh, sure, 500,000 coins as well, yikes. Oh no, he's gonna give us 500,000 coins. Well, you know what, sure man, take my rift ferret, I can get another one in the rift very, very very easily. 
We are now taming level 51, and we got 500,000 coins for that, which is pretty cool. Oh, we got a million coins for leveling up our taming level as well. Uh, what does he want next? An epic slug? Dude, that takes like 100 hours to get. What? Really? I- Okay, for perspective, when I was doing all of the pest garden rework, I got one slug pet in about 100 to 120 hours of grinding. Um, I don't know why they decided to make this a slug pet. Because yeah, not only do you need to find a slug, but you have to roll the 0.5% chance to get the slug pet, which is just ridiculous. Well, I guess our taming level journey stops there. Um, oh, hi, you have my Jerry. Oh, legendary Jerry. Well, thank you, cat. Um, do you want another pet while I'm here, I guess? Here, you could level up my magma cube, I suppose. 10 days, yikes. But you know what? There you go, cat. You got. You can do that if you want. Well, I guess I kind of need a new rift ferret. But overall, that is the bulk of the update. But I do know of a couple of the other ones that you need to level up to get taming 60 because, well, I opened Discord and that means I've seen most of them. So unfortunately, one of them is a jellyfish pet. Which, if you don't know, it's a dark auction item, which means it's now worth like 100 mil coins. It looks like it's going down a bit, but maybe I'll let this sit for another few days before I purchase my own jellyfish. But man, this, this update's gonna be rough. It's gonna be very expensive. Oh, what is this? What is this room? Whoa, they redid the... Is this where you used to buy the tuxedos? Uh, oh, I guess you probably go down here. And yeah, Seymour's still here, gonna sell the tuxedos for us. But they redid the top half of this house here. And it looks like you can buy stuff with gems. Gems? Hey, did you know you could get gems on the Hypixel store? And if you want to support me, you can use my creator code at checkout when you buy anything off the Hypixel store. You get a 5% off discount for using my code, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, my code is Toad, T-O-A-D, just like my name. And I get a small cut of any sale using my code, so if you want to support the channel, that is an excellent way to do it if you want to buy any of these brand new items. I actually haven't seen these, I just recorded that clip on the fly here, but... Ooh, Polar Lights Power Orb skin? That could be fun. It looks like there's a Frozen Jerry skin for Jerry pets, an Owl pet skin, Frozen Blaze Helmet skin, that's pretty cool, backpacks, more backpacks, um, we got some barn skins here, and a rune, okay. Uh, do you have any other items, or are you just gonna talk to me about buy all of this stuff? Oh, seasonal bundles. Oh, so it's gonna rotate, uh, seasonally, and sometimes maybe they'll be special items that Taylor herself makes. Well, that's pretty cool. I would go to the dark auction right now, but I kind of want to wait for a uh, jellyfish to drop in price a little bit more. Maybe go back down to like 60 mil or so. But honestly, I don't know. I I'll probably go to it just because I know Iron Man players are probably going to be all over this, but uh, if I don't buy the jellyfish, I'll just cut it out. Anyways, there's a couple other stuff I want to show you today. Next thing is apparently they added a new item into the Wither Essence shop. Yeah, the Secret Tracker 3000. For 100 Wither Essence, it's supposed to point you in the direction of the next secret. So I kind of want to see how this works, if it's going to have like a cooldown or a particle. Looks like a cooldown of five seconds. So let's open this up and just kind of see how it works. So let's go ahead and clear a lot of this room out. And okay, now that a lot of the enemies are gone, the nearest secret to me should be down in that waterfall. So if I right click it, okay, yeah, it starts drawing a line towards the secret. How interesting. What if I'm like kind of equal distance between two? How does, does it just pick one? Yeah, it just picks one. So it's going to show me that, oh, I'd have to go up here. So I'd probably say, oh, okay, where? And let's pretend I don't see the, uh, the decoy there or uh, this. It would, okay, interesting. So it points you to the secret, not the location of where you get the secret. This could cause some issues as, for example, if I'm right here. Actually, let me get a better example. If I'm standing right here, the secret will just point into the ground, and I won't exactly know how to get it. Because you're actually supposed to go over here and go down a ladder, but if you're just looking kind of right here, it's just going to point into the ground, which isn't exactly very helpful. Uh, I don't know. I'd kind of like to see this be a little bit more helpful, mainly point towards key locations rather than just the item or chest itself, but... Nonetheless, I think this is a very good item that people will get some use out of, which is going to be pretty awesome, and I'll probably just keep it for uh, the one or two rooms I don't have mastered yet. Lucky for us, a lot of the Catacombs Beast theory became a lot easier to get, mainly noting the, uh, the mini-bosses, and I believe Fells as well have a... Yeah, I have Fells maxed already, that's pretty cool. A lot of these got reduced Beast theory, and we can see that being reflected in here. I got a ton of milestones, which is nice. There's also a little reminder you'll see in chat every time I join a lobby, it says that. You can turn that off, I'm gonna be holding my XP till Derpy, which I strongly recommend you do as you'll be able to get 50% more co uh, combat XP when you claim your milestones during Derpy, which I'll use to probably level my G-Drag or other combat pets. 
There's a new menu inside of Jerry on your island called Island Properties, and I don't actually know what this does yet. So it looks like Island Time, modify your island time. Okay, so you can just set it to night or day depending on what you want. That's pretty cool. Repelling Candle, we have to have a repelling candle in our inventory to use. Silence Block, same thing. You have to have, have these items in your inventory to like change the weather and stuff. And it looks like we can permanently unlock new biomes to set our uh, islands to if you have the correct biome stick, which is cool. Usually you just have to like use the specific stick, but now it's all in nice... Uh, a nice one menu GUI, which is cool. Um, but I think the new one they added was the ice cube prevents all ice from melting on your private island, which is awesome. Uh, not too sure how to get the ice cube item yet, but it is pretty cool. It looks like it's made. I have the wiki pulled up here using eight enchanted ice. Oh, it's from the ice collection. Okay. Okay. Yeah. One packed ice, eight enchanted ice gives you the ice cube, which is pretty cool. Uh, apart from that, I think it's all just a bunch of quality of life changes. Oh no, there's one more thing actually. If we make our way in the mushroom desert over to the glowy mushroom area, they added a new item actually, which is right here, the glowing mush mixin. It is a mixin you can add to god potions if you put just a couple god potions in a brewing stand and then your ingredient being a mixin, you can actually buff god potions and this will give you 30 fishing speed if you don't have a tonic applied. This is awesome because you no longer need to bring like 10 god or 10 tonic potions to fish for an entire day. You just chuck one of these in your mixin and you're good for like three whole real life days, which is awesome. And even more if you got the parrot pet and stuff, which is pretty cool. It is very expensive though, costing, I believe, the cost of eight of these glowy tonic potions, but you can buff three different god potions with one of these mixins, which is very, very useful, and something I'm absolutely going to be using when I'm going for max fishing bestiary in the future. One more change they added is they actually properly labeled uh, tier seven or the god uh, enchantments from the experiment table, which I don't think I'll get to show you today, of course, because they're insanely rare, but now you won't have to look up whether uh, an enchantment is maximum tier. Like if you're wondering, oh, is it prosecute five or prosecute six? That's the good one. It'll kind of do like a fancy little uh flashy text when you find one so you won't ever miss one on accident of course it looks like we're not getting anything nice today but we can't always have nice things eh, i haven't shown enchanting in a while you guys deserve one more today just because i think it'd be super cool to find a tier 7 in uh the tables after the new update but odds are we're gonna get absolute junk once again i do want to see if tier 6s show as uh special books as well but in order to do that we actually need to find a tier 6 which it looks Looks like there is no tier 6 in this whole table. I don't really care about any of this other stuff, so we'll just take some XP and uh, close out of that. Well, we've got Dark Auction in a few minutes, so I'm gonna go over there, and after that, I'll probably go ahead and re-get my Rift Ferret, because I do want that for the Skyblock XP. There is nothing suspicious going on here, I promise. This is completely normal gameplay. It's definitely not absolutely overpowered if you get yourself a billion Rift Pets and start selling them to George. You definitely can't make, like, 30 million coins an hour on a day one profile. There's no way, right? Right? Th this is going to get patched like before this video is up. I am certain of it. But for now, all my moats are going into this because this is free money. Well, it turns out I kind of made a mistake doing the uh, magma cube today. So we're going to have to cat flower it all the way, which is 10 stupid cat flowers and pretty much the rest of the bits that I saved up today. But it's because we have to upgrade our giraffe to epic at some point. So let's go ahead and grab our giraffe. Currently mine is uncommon. So let's go ahead and do that and go to rare, which is going to be a 16 chance to acacia wood and two days. I can probably wait the two days. I don't think I'll need to. Uh... And you know what? I have the stuff. Why not just, oh, I don't have the uh, wood. Never mind. I'll just like wait a day or something, but we'll need an epic giraffe eventually for taming. So I wanted to start this as soon as I could, just in case I dropped like slug pet or something like now. But uh, apart from that, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover today. So I know this is a bit of a shorter episode, but I don't really want it to drag on longer than it has to. So, oh wait, actually there was one more thing I wanted to do today. I actually have enough eggs to make a super enchanted, or I guess Omega enchanted egg. And there's only one pet you can craft with the Omega enchanted egg. And I figured, you know what, since this is the taming video, this is probably the perfect one to do this on. But we get the Omega enchanted egg and with two stacks of derelict ash, we can get ourselves a uncommon droplet wisp pet. I've never used this pet before, but its abilities, uh, they don't really mean anything for us right now because we use our G-drag for Blaze Slayer anyways. But George does want a rare 
rare wisp pet at one point, so that means I'm gonna need more eggs. I thought I was done, but uh, no, we're gonna need an entire second wisp pet. So at some point, I'll be crafting a second one, but we need to get this to rare, which takes the upgrade stone, which is, of course, uh, three enchanted pack dice, eight molten powder, which is pretty easy. Kelvin Inverter, already have that. And one Inferno Vertex, which means I have to set up all the Inferno minions all over again just for one more Vertex. But for now, that's gonna be it for this episode of Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. If you guys enjoyed the new update and want to see me do more stuff with it, maybe uh, try and get all of my pets to level 100 Legendary. I mean, that's the goal I have. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button again. It really does help the video do a lot better on YouTube. And of course, if you're buying any ranks gems or any of these brand new items in the shop with gems uh, off the Hypixel store, be sure to use my creator code at checkout for a 5% discount on anything you buy. My code is TOAD, D-O-A-D, and it supports the channel a ton. But that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.